Okay, y'all, so starting off um, for the list of things that you will need, the first thing will be to prep. Um, so you want to start off prepping your nails like I showed you. You want to wash your hands and make sure they're getting disinfected and sanitized. This is the ASP Antibacterial Cleansing Spray for Nails and Tools. I use this to clean my files, actually to clean all of my tools. So that's definitely one thing that you will want to have and that's one of the most important things you want to have. Okay, the next thing would be to have some kind of cuticle remover and a tool. I have a couple of different things, but the main thing I use is just this big bottle of cuticle remover that I purchased. I believe I got this from Sally's. Yeah, I definitely got this from Sally's. And I don't see a price on here, but even still, some of my prices would be just a little bit different from yours because I have a professional Sally's card. Um... The next thing you will need is a nail, oh, just dropped my tips. You will need a nail file, um, and this is to get the shine off of your natural nails and to prep the um, nail for the nail tip um, so that it will allow it to adhere to your nail. And then you would also need, uh, of course, your, you could either use a any one of these cuticle tools, um, a cuticle pusher. You can use either one of these. Both I purchased from Sally's and they are stainless steel. You can also use an orange wood stick. You'd also need a nail clipper because you want to make sure that when you first start off that you clip your nails all the way down, get as much length off as you can, and of course to file the ridges of your nails. And then also for nail prep, you would need some prep and clean um, the hydrant and this just preps the nail for the acrylic application as well as cleans the nail bed and then you would also need some nail primer and I purchased this from no lift um, from Sally's and it's the no lift nails brand again like I said in my actual tutorial I believe that this brand is only sold to professionals it's not something I'm making up it was just what I was told um, at my local Sally's you know every location could be different so I'm just letting you know that another thing you want to have is a face mask because you don't want to inhale the fumes and of course you want to protect your work area so I actually have a paper towel down and this right here is just like a changing pad for the for the baby um, you can get this from Walmart, you can get them from Babies R Us, from wherever, and it just has like a little plastic coating on the back of it, and it just helps to protect your work area. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you have either a towel down with a paper towel to brush your, um, to wipe your brush on to clean it, or to have, um, something to protect your work area. I actually put a towel on my lap and then I cover my area with these two things. Okay, now moving on to the items that you will need for the application process. First off, of course, you're going to need a nail color. I actually purchased this nail cutter off of eBay. Um, it was not that expensive at all. I've actually seen this in the stores and it's a lot more expensive than it is on eBay. Um, I don't even remember the seller because I purchased a lot of this stuff a while ago. So what I need to do is what you will want to do is just, just look on eBay and type in like nail cutter. And, um, this makes the job a lot easier. If anything, you can just use a normal nail clipper. Um, just be sure to clip on one side and then clip on the other, bend it and get the rest off. Another thing that I've used is the line be gone for like refills and this just helps get rid of that that line um some people may like it some people may not I've used it before and I actually liked it another thing you will want to have is alcohol for sanitary reasons um and for if you're using a gel top coat just to do that last step of wiping it off I totally forget why they do that um but yeah you want I just know for sure that you want to have that um, also a nail cleaner for, you know, the times where you may normally go to the sink and wash your hands. If you don't feel like getting up, then you can just mix a little bit of, uh, 
uh, equal amounts of alcohol and water. And I always use spring water. So alcohol and spring water in a spray bottle so that you can wipe your hand off to get like those little dustings off from filing. Another thing you want to have, of course, is nail glue to adhere your tips. And again, I have this brush on nail glue, which you saw me use in my tutorial. But then I also have a regular uh, glue that, uh, again, I purchased from Sally's. And so far, everything here I purchased from Sally's unless otherwise stated. Um, you would want to have used some buffers. I purchased all of these from Sally's. And also cotton balls. I think that they come in handy. At least if you don't have any cotton balls, then try to get yourself some paper towels and they can help as well. You want to have your nail tips. The brand that I use for my natural nail tips are the VIP crystals. And I purchased this container as well as the nail tips. And then um, the brand that I use for my French is Glamour. And the containers and the nail tips I actually purchased from a local nail supply store. Um, I don't know if everyone has that, but they actually just recently opened one up um, near my house. So I was really excited about that. So I did purchase all of my nail tips um, as well as the container from that store. And the nail tips were maybe like whew, between 25 cents to like 40 cents and 40 cents I'm probably guessing was way too much but they were like 25 cents to 40 cents per size so they were really cheap um not expensive at all the next thing you will want to have are some dishes to place your liquid acrylic and your acrylic powders in this I purchased from Sally's I want to say it was maybe like a dollar 49 could have been a couple it could have even been like 49 cents or something like that so these little trinkets and things are not that expensive this right here I purchased from my local nail supply store and this I want to say was probably about four dollars between two and four dollars and um of course you're going to need some a acrylic i've heard of cnd so i actually want to try that once i finish this up but i figured i wanted to get something that came as like a kit or what have you um just for practicing so for now i use the the asp the aspire um all of these were purchased from sally's and again just remember everything that you uh, i got the white in the biggest size i probably should have got the acrylics the clear i'm actually almost out of this surprisingly because of like the different mixes that I do with glitter um inside the acrylic and uh, most of the time when you're doing mixes which I'll do another video on that you're going to use the clear acrylic and then you want to also have yourself some monomer which is bonding acrylic liquid and the one that I have is ASP brand as well you want to have a brush um, I actually have a couple brushes, but my favorite so far is the Beauty Secrets number 8 brush. And it's like a long, super round brush, okay? And you want to make sure you're taking care of your brushes. Eventually, I will be in a, investing in some different ones, but those, so far, they work fine. And then you just want to have an old makeup kabuki brush or a brush like this. I purchased this from Sally's, and you want to have that so that you can dust uh, get rid of any of those little dustings. Okay, and now for nails. filing and finishing up the nails, um, you will want to have some regular nail files like the one that I showed you that I purchased from Sally's, the Beauty Secret 100 to 180 grit. Um, you want to have th that file, but then you also definitely want to have some buffers on hand because they make a huge difference as to you know how smooth of application and everything that your nails look afterwards now in this drill right here is just my little pink drill I purchased this from eBay I paid about twelve dollars and forty six cents and that included the shipping um, so starting off I think that this is a great drill you know it does everything I need it to I filed all Sorarsky crystals on my nails and everything and I haven't had a problem with it um it came on a came in a box like this and again it was like twelve dollars and forty six cents and it did include the shipping just type in pink nail drill on ebay and you will pull up tons of people that sell it 
and it came with these little drill bits and these little coverings up here I actually have a whole bag full of these and they just pretty much go on this one right here so it's just another um, filing bit to file your nails down with and then the drill does come with an adapter that you plug in I am looking into getting another drill I just wanted to get myself started out um, you know and see how well I did before I went out and bought a really nice drill so that's definitely the next thing that I'm working on and the name of that nail file that I was telling you about is called Terrific Tips um, that's the brand but it's nail tip cutter so that's what you want to type in on eBay. Um, you also want to have some brush cleanser. If you do not have brush cleanser, by all means, don't worry about it. You can just fill up a little glass container like this with some um, acetone to soak your brushes in to make sure that they're clean and you get all that extra um, acrylic out. You will want to have yourself next some cuticle oil or maybe like a nice hand cream so that you give yourself a hand massage when you get done this cuticle oil i purchased from that local uh nail supply store that i told you about they just built it up and um they have a lot of different things in there that I'll be going in and picking up. But I purchased this big old bottle for $3. So I will be having this for a long time. Excuse me because I need to clean this bottle off. It's like all over the place. And then this is just some Bath and Body Works um, hand cream. And then last but not least, you will want to make sure that you have yourself a UV... Um, gel curing lamp mine is nine watts and my husband purchased this for me well he pr pretty much purchased everything um from sally's is where i got mine and it does have a little bulb in it right here that you can replace and i don't think the replacement bulbs are that expensive at all i mean so far mine's works i didn't have a problem with any curing of my gel sets it does um excuse me my gel overlay on my acrylics it sets it it's fine it works and i haven't had any issues with it but um this gets plugged in and you just simply turn it on like this and when you're done you turn it off and I always store mine back in the box because I don't want it to get messed up and again he purchased this from Sally's I want to say it was about $45 at the most might have been a little bit less because again we have a professional discount at Sally's so um, outside of that the only other items I could see you possibly wanting to have is maybe like sand or you know just little different trinkets that you can put make your own um, mixes up and that will be a totally different video you know hopefully one day I'll get around to doing that but it's just so much different stuff you can do I encourage you all if it's something that you really want to do and you're interested in learning it don't just worry about slapping the acrylic on your nose actually figure out why you need the products that you're needing get yourself educated um i noticed one article i was reading was stating something about mma and how you know a lot of the nail salons where you're getting a little 12 dollar refill they are using it and it's actually dangerous so it's when i get into stuff i like to read up on it and find out why i'm using it what's the the most um sanitary way for me to do everything because messing around with acrylics a lot of the stuff the reason they sell it um for professionals is because it's they're getting taught, you know, most of the time you, and dealing with nails and acrylics, you, you do need to be, have a license or it's not like makeup with acrylics. You know, this was something that we learned mainly forms is what we did in cosmetology school, but you want to educate yourself. You want to make sure you learn as much information and just practice, 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 but make sure that you're doing it in a healthy and sanitary way because again, you don't want to get any fungus or anything on your nails. So until next time, dolls, I hope that this little beginner kit idea has helped you out and have a gorgeous day, dolls. Smooches. Bye-bye.